Hey, look. There's our Kayla and Gagger. Child in the promised land. All my dreams have turned into nightmares. All my songs into funeral dirges. My hopefulness transformed into despair. All my blessings have become curses. If I seem incapable of greatness, a generation to be cast aside, I'm a product of this world's madness, fruit of the soil in which I reside. I'm a man child in the promised land. I am a product of a dream deferred. I am a link in a chain unbroken, fashioned in the flames of a hellish forge. If the eyes let us see inside the mind, what do you see when you look into mine? of a great man was extinguished. A prince among men, he was that distinguished. His spirit was willing even when cancer made his flesh weak. His lips dropped wisdom whenever he would speak. But a man who has good friends is rich beyond compare. That friend may be untried and new, but a really true friend is very rare even if that friend be tried and true. So the friends you find when you are most in need, keep them close and don't let go. My little sister is an angel of mercy. Whenever I need her, she's right by my side with words of encouragement and solace to provide. In my darkest hour, she was there to pull me through. When I celebrated my greatest triumphs, she celebrated too. When I was falling to pieces, she glued me. Her laughter renewed me. Her mere presence reassures me. I thank God for sending me an angel of mercy. One gang pitted against each other in senseless war. Boys like sheep following the blindest sheep. Until they all succumb to death's sweet sleep, Will anyone, then, know what they were fighting for? Do you know how it feels to live under a curse? To be forced constantly to make the best of the worst? Do you know how it feels to live daily in fear? And to be denied access to all things men hold dear? Do you know what it feels like to be under a curse? If you don't, then just go back and reread this verse. Seems we have a tie. The winners of this year's Poetry Slam are Jaden Smith and Aaron Davis. You two will perform your poems at graduation. Thanks everyone for coming. Here comes Aaron with the teacher who organizes all the slams. Why don't you have Aaron introduce you, Gavin? That's a great idea, Taylor. Yeah, Congratulations, you Aaron. were great. You must be very proud of your nephew. Congratulations again, nephew. Gavin and I are going to stay and find out a bit more about next year's slam. Bye-bye, Taylor. Bye-bye, Aaron. Tell Maya we said hello. 
I know she's going to be so proud of you. Bye, Aunt Kayla. Bye, Gavin. We're hoping my son Gavin can be involved in the middle school slam next year. We'd be pleased to have him. If you just leave your email address with us, Mrs. Davis, we'll send you the information. I'd like that. Yo, ain't you the dude who won the poetry slam? What you looking at? Poetry slams are cool. That was awesome. See? See? I told you you would win. I told you. I told you. Mama will be so proud. I'll be able to keep a straight face. <laughs> You're no fun. Wait. Hey, Rob, I can't believe you so weak-minded as to let them do send you and me. You don't know what you're talking about. Ain't nobody sent me. Then what is this about? How we boys one minute maybe and we should go the another next. way. If we were boys, you would call me weak-minded. Is ain't that? No friend. How you gonna say Those that, Rob? We've been familiar, friends since we Aaron. were in preschool. Yo, dude, bump that. You a disciple and I'm a stone. Hey, those just words, Rob. Man, we bigger than that. See, that's the stuff I'm talking about. You think you're better than me. Look, I don't know what you've been smoking, but you need to go home and sleep it off. Yeah, that's right. You take orders from the stones. And you take orders from the disciples. So what? Now, that's where you're wrong. I've been trying to figure this stuff out. And you helped me come to a decision. This ain't what's happening. What are you talking about, fool? No, you the fool for letting them mess you up like this. Man, can't you see how crazy it is for you and me to be at one another's throats? I ain't trying to hear that shit you talking. Well, I'm through talking to you. You can stand here and talk to yourself. You ain't going nowhere, punk. Dude, I know you ain't trying to fight me. I don't want to fight you. Ah, uh, yeah. Justin the tough guy. So who's the tough guy now? Rob, is that what you think makes you tough? That's just the opposite of tough. You're making a mistake, Rob. I'm your friend. Put the gun away. You do not tell me what to do. Man, you don't want to shoot me. Give me the gun. Nah, I got the ups on you this time. Ain't gonna be second to you. 
never again. Prop, I went down the same road you trying to walk now. Stop before it's too late. You won't screw me over again. Aaron, Aaron, are you all right? When the police called, I was so scared. I'm glad you're safe. Don't blame yourself, son. There was nothing you could have done. Son, you can't blame yourself for what happened. Well, what do you think you could have done to change any of that? Do you think none of the gangbangers have jobs? Baby, each one of us has to choose the road we walk down. No one can choose for you. Both Justin and Robert took a wrong turn on the path. You can't do nothing about that. But you can do something about the way you live your life from now on. You see, we all make mistakes. You made a mistake in not telling somebody what you knew. I know you thought being a friend meant keeping Justin's secret confidential. But sometimes it means just the opposite. When someone needs help and you don't know what to do, you gotta find someone you trust to have the answers. I hope you know that you can come to me about anything. If they knew better, they do better. Neither of those would hurt. But I mean, just plain common sense and decency. I had to be strong for all three of us. Plus, at your daddy's funeral, I looked around and saw the faces of family and friends who had all lost loved ones. That's when I realized that it wasn't just me and us. Everybody suffers loss and disappointment. You see, life is going to test you, son. If you stay down, you lose. Keep getting up. I love you too, son. Now go get some sleep. I'm okay, big brother. What about you? Okay, I guess. Just a little confused. Justin and Robert were your friends. I thought they were just like you. So why would they join gangs? But aren't you under the same pressure? Thanks, big brother. I don't know what I'd do without you. Love you.
welcome all. We are here today to celebrate homegrown. Of many young brothers and sisters who were called home much too soon. Our youth have fallen victim to a game that many of them don't understand the rules to. It's a merciless game. And as far as I can tell, there are no winners. Every time one of our number becomes a victim to the violence of the game, we lose two lives. Because the one who pulls the trigger is just as much a victim as the one who was slain. When the perpetrator of murder is caught, tried, and sentenced, he has to spend the next 20, 30, or more years. He is also a victim. A victim of the game. A game he doesn't fully understand. There are organizations who are doing great work in our community. Please Man. look at the tables to find out more. These people are doing all they can to help. I'm sorry, Aaron. And you can help too. Please I'm sorry, your time baby. And your compassion. If you can afford, then please donate to these worthy causes that can save lives. And help our children have a happier and more peaceful future. Thank you, everyone, for your support. My name is David Cherry, city leader of the All-Stars Project of Chicago. It's extremely painful to see the continued loss of life and the high level of violence happening in our communities. Living in poverty is overwhelming and leaves people feeling isolated, depressed, angry, and hopeless. The alternative to the resulting violence is development. At the All-Stars Project, a privately funded national nonprofit organization founded in 1981, our mission is to transform the lives of youth and poor communities using the developmental power of performance in partnership with caring adults. Seeing and acting on new possibilities is development and is what the All Stars is all about. My name is Patrick Sabatis. I'm the founder of the Reclaim Our Kids program. It's a mentor program that reaches out to at-risk youth to help them overcome peer violence, bullying, and gang recruitment. The unique thing about our group is the instructors that are involved in the program have overcome gangs or were part of gangs at some point and transformed their lives. So now we go back and reach back into the community throughout the greater Chicagoland region to mentor these kids, to help them reach their goals, job placement, get back in school, and help them dream again where their dreams have once been crushed. Man. Yeah. A lot of y'all talking about y'all doing this, y'all doing that. But I don't see nothing. Yeah. I do this, man. Mechanical beat. Shout out to Sid. Shout out to 2020. Shout out A Love. Shout out Louise. Yeah. What up, Levi? Solo Exquisite. I do this. Stopping me, my team, we're growing, we're building, getting strong. This music. 
music. I do the solo squeeze and get known. Pay features, pay shows. I'm cashing checks. Solo squeeze and yeah. I'm a brick. I do this by my family. Yeah. I do this by my family. Yeah. Sale regulations in the city restricting retailers were approved by the city council. However, it won't be implemented due to a federal judge rejecting the ban. 